Hello everyone, welcome to today's session in Quencep. In today's lesson, we will be talking about how you can find a sustainable trend that can sustain itself in the market. Okay, but before starting the video, if you are new here, you can go in the description. There is a link below. With the help of that, you can download and install Quantsub Web application. After successful registration, you will get some free tools that will help you out in your trading. In the application, there is a video library. So in this video library, we have made multiple videos for you. These videos are available in multiple languages as well and based on pro plus tools as well as on various strategies. So you can watch these videos in your main time at any point of time. If you guys are having any kinds of doubts or query, so you can directly contact us. You just have to go in the support. Okay. And you will get up a contact number as well as email ID. So you can contact us and we will be there to sort your queries out. So let's start today's lesson. In today's lesson, we will be talking about how you can find a sustainable trade. Okay. Now, there is a question before starting the lesson. For example, if this is a, you can say this is a very strong resistance. Okay. So we will take two examples here. So this is one resistance and this is, you can say resistance one and resistance two. Right. Now, there is a significant uptrend in the market or you can say a very good bullish movement. Okay. After the breakout. So this resistance got breakout and there is a good momentum in the market like this. Okay. In the second example, we again have a breakout, but in this case, the market started like this, then it came back, then it made a movement, then it came back. So it is moving. Okay. In the upward direction, in both the case, the market is moving in the upward direction, but in this case, it is moving with a good momentum. In this case, it is moving with a gradual momentum, making it swing lows, then swing high, then swing low, then swing high. Okay. So just a little question from you, just to take two seconds. Okay. And answer this, which trend will sustain longer in the market? Okay. If that is trend first, or if that is trend second. Okay. So you can tell me in the comments, ki aap sahi huye ya galat huye. Okay. So abhi jo trend that can last longer. Okay, in the market, that is your trend second. Okay, that is your trend second. So, you can evaluate it that you have given the answer or wrong answer. So, that is the trend second that will last longer in the market. Right? Why? The answer is that because every time your market is going in the upward direction, then it is taking a support, you can say, okay, or it is coming back because there must be some buyers who must be booking their profit. So, the market is coming down. When it is coming down like this, so at that time, what is happening here? Now the new contracts are adding at every point of time. So you can see the new contracts are adding. And when these new contracts are adding at every point of time, okay, so it will again take the market in the upward direction because now the new contracts are adding. It means the participants are interested. Okay, so market ko ek naya price mil raha hai. Buyers, jo naya buyers ho rahe, wo market mein enter kar rahe. Okay, when we are talking about this, so what is happening? The price is not coming back. So the new buyers, they are not getting any opportunity to enter in the trade. Okay. So this momentum will not be supported by the new traders. So the market is not got supported by them. And that is how, and that is when the market can fall anytime. So you can see whenever there is a, a momentum or exploded momentum. So after that, you will see a fall down as well. Okay, so this is the theory behind it. Now, when we are looking for a sustainable trend, so we will be looking for a trade, something like this. Okay, now how to find it? That is the real question. So for that, what we will do? For that, what we will do? If we are going for the bullish direction and bullish direction, so I will be again explaining you two conditions here. So the first condition will be for the bullish market. Okay. I'm writing it in red color, but still it is for the bullish market. Okay. And the second one is for the bearish market. Okay, the second one is for the bearish market, right? Now, when we are going for the bullish market, so how the things will work out? First of all, the price will be moving. Okay, so the price will be moving above. Okay, after that, there will be a significant downward, downward movement. So you can say there will be a downward movement. Again, after this downward movement, there will be a upward movement, something like this. And after this upward movement, again, there will be a downward movement. Okay. And after this downward movement, again, there will be a upward direction. Okay. Something like this. So you can see my price is moving in a positive direction, but making swing lows and swing high at every point. Right now, this is the price. Okay. Now this is the price. Okay. 
along with the price along with the price there must be some open interest right so the open interest means the number of participants so along with this the number of participants should be increasing so it means when the price was going up at the same time cancel when the price was going up at the same time the participants were increasing it means the price was going up and the participants were also supporting that price okay again when the price was coming down so at the same time the participants were also coming down it means now the participants are also not supporting the fall of the price right so it means again the price will move up so again when the price started moving up here so at that time again your open interest started increasing okay similarly when the price again fall down so at that time again your participants also so fall down when the price started moving up so again your price started moving up so what is happening here now there is a thing that we have studied before that is the built up okay so when my price is going up open interest going up so that condition you can see price going up open interest going up it means there is a long position that is happening here okay long built up price coming down at the same time my open interest is coming down it means here the long unwinding is happening okay again when the price is going up and the open interest is going up so this is the condition of long again then long unwinding then long right so it means if i want a sustainable trend in the market so what condition i want i want long long unwinding long long unwinding so it is a cycle right we are looking here for the cycle of long long unwinding so whenever i want the sustainable trend in the market i will go with the long and long unwinding okay so this is the thing that i'll be going with similarly for the bearish market what i will be looking into so i will be going with the condition of short short covering why because what i want i want price to be falling then when the price will fall so at that time my oi will be increasing so at that time my oi open interest will be increasing something like this then again my price will cover a little bit and at the same time i want my open interest to go down at this again my price will fall again down and at the same time i want open interest to increase because the participants that are responsible for this price to go down they are increasing their position then again the price will go up a little bit and at the at the same time i want oi to be decreasing so this will happen in the market again and again right so this is the this is what this is short then this is short covering then this is again short and then this is a short covering so is this is a cycle that will last long in the market so this is for the bearish condition right now whenever i want sustainable trends in the market i will go long and long unwinding for the bullish and i will go short and short covering for the bearish sentiment so i hope the concept is clear now let's quickly apply this concept into the coinsap application and let's see how we can trade with it okay so first of all i will open the coinsap application here now first i want uh with which condition i'll go i'll go with the bullish one or i will go with the bearish one so for that i will quickly look into the built up breadth of the market now the built up breadth will give me a general idea like what are the sentiments of the market so i am going with the one day time frame okay and you can see the symbol is all it means i am analyzing the market sentiments of overall market okay so in the overall market currently you can see the breadth of the green or if i'll tap here so you can see the 85 stocks are in long it means the market sentiments now increasing in the bullish direction because most of the stocks are going in the bullish run okay they are giving me a long built up similarly if i'll compare it with the short so clearly the short the there are only 14 stocks that are in the uh, bearish side so that is giving me a general idea that the market sentiments are currently bullish so if the market sentiments are bullish so i will go with the bullish stocks right now for the bullish stocks what i will do i will go in the track side section and in the track section first i have a built up sectors right so i will just quickly uh, give a birds eye view like which are the sectors which are in bullish direction right now so you can see these are the sectors which are in bearish one you can see the short and these are the sectors which are in the bullish run okay so i have to select the sector so what i will do i will see the price increase here okay and i'll see the open interest also so i can see in the fertilizer the price increase was a decent 1.88 7.25 was the oi interest increase as well so i can go with the fertilizer as well or i can go with uh, let's see there is a very good increase in open interest it means the participants in 3.27 and the price is also 0.49 so auto can be a decent sector for me and then also uh, we can go with nbfc also because 1.95 in the open interest and price is 0.24 so there are two or three sectors that i can go with that are showing me good uh, numbers you can say okay and the markets are in bullish sentiment so that is why i am going with the long positions if the sentiments will be 
in the bearish so at that time i can go with the short sectors as well right so i have uh, selected some of the sectors like you, i can go with the fertilizer i can go with the auto i can go with the nbfc as well right without wasting any time i will directly go in the track section and belt up script symbol okay and i have to come here in the cycle so in this cycle first there are two or three things that we have to apply here okay now what are these things first of all i will select the sectors so in sectors uh, i saw in the fertilizer i was getting a good reading okay that sector was in bullish direction in the long run so i am going with the sector in the reading now we are going with the sustainable trend we are going with the cycle so for the bullish long long unwinding was a cycle so you can see there was option that is long long unwinding so i can select this cycle okay now after selecting long long unwinding there is an option for look back period and count as well okay so what we have to do we have selected the look back period of 20 because we have back tested this tool uh, with the look back period of 20 as well okay so you can select 10 as well okay for the look back period if your holding period is not that much after that in this section of count, what I will do, I will select 14, right? Why? Because out of 20 trading sessions, I want the long, long unwinding cycles of 14 trading sessions, right? It means 70% of the times uh, in that particular stock, the cycle should be of long, long unwinding, long, long unwinding, okay? And if this cycle is there in that particular stock, so I can definitely go and make a entry, right? So I have selected this or you can select 10 or 7 as well. So that will give you a rough idea of the stocks with a... Uh, you can say a uh, lesser holding period right okay so i have selected this and after filling all the conditions what you have to do you just have to click on apply okay after apply you can see you don't have any data right now i'm not having any stocks which are in the long long unwinding in the period of 20 to 14 so now i will go with another option and that option is i will apply a reading of 10 to 7 okay and then I will go with the apply. So let's see in the 10.7, I got a reading that is Atul and Navin floor. Okay, so you can see I got two uh, stocks here. And in this stocks, you can say there was long position, then long unwinding, then long, then long unwinding. And currently this is in the long. So a perfect stock for me. So I can just open this stock from here in the symbol. Okay, so it will directly take me to the chart. Okay, now what I will do, I will apply the time frame of one day. And in the one day, you can see there was a good cycle. You can see a long, the long unwinding, long, long unwinding. So this is a kind of cycle. Now, again, this stock is a little bit in the bearish direction because of the market as well. The market right now is falling. Uh, you can say a uh, falling with a huge uh, momentum. Okay, so that is why this stock is also moving in the downward direction. But as per the data, we are having a good indication that it can go in the upward direction. So what can I do? There are two things with the help of which I can take the entry. The first one is that currently you can see the market, The this stock is in, this stock is in, Currently, it is at the support, right? So I can make it as my support. You can see the market was taking support here. And when this was broken, a good momentum in the upward direction. Then again, it took a support here. And again, my market is at support. So currently, what can I do? I can take the entry whenever my market will break the previous day. High ko break karta hai, to I can take the entry. At the same time, if you are not able to take the entry here, or if you want a good confirmation, so you can again take an entry whenever your market will break this range. So that is, you can see in the upper side also, your market is making a range here. Or you can see a very good resistance from a very long time right and this stock is the one that is showing me a good indication of long long unwinding cycle that is for the bullish direction so if it will break the resistance at that time i can also jump into the trade with a good volume as well okay so that is one of the indicators that we will use for the confirmation that is volume so you can enter in this trade whenever there will be a breakout and also uh, along with the breakout there is a good volume in the particular stock as well right so i hope the concept is clear i hope how you can select the stock uh, with the help of cycle okay i will quickly show you how you can select a, a bearish trade as well okay so for the bearish trade i will go in the track and again i will go in the built up sector in the built up sector i will see which is the stock that sector which are in the bearish uh, you can say in the bearish momentum or showing me a bearish signal so you can see metal here PSUB, Pharma's are also there. Then we have the Power Telecom. Okay. Now, what I will do, I can see the FMCG. There is a good uh, downward momentum in the price that is of 1.03 and good increase in the open interest. It means the participants are increasing the futures Y. So, what I will do, I will select the FMCG sector. So, I will go the track, built up script symbol, 
and I will go again in this cycle. Now we have selected long long unbending cycle for the bullish one. So for the bearish what I will do I will go with the short short covering that you can see here. So short short covering for the count I have already told you we want 70% of the times the cycle should be repeating itself that is the short short covering. So I will apply 14 here out of 20 then from the sector so we have seen the sector was fmcg so let's see where this is the fmcg and then it is already applied by itself so you can see asian paint is the one coal pal hevel jubilee food nestle india tata consumer okay and you can also see here it is giving me a short okay it is giving me a short then short covering short short covering short short covering so it is being repeated multiple times so that is why asian paint can be a good candidate for me so i will just open the chart of this and again i will apply one day time frame here so one day time frame okay so you can see a good downward movement in this stock as well and it has already broken its previous previous low so you can say a good resistance was already broken here in this stock you can see that was the resistance of the market so market already clearly broke it down and then after breaking it down it is moving in the downward direction okay and clearly the above price the buyers tried to take it away uh, uh, tried to take it above but they were not able to do so and that is why a doji candle is being created here now if you want to take a trade in this stock so doji is the perfect candle okay with which you can take a trade so if the market will break the high so at that time you can refrain uh, selling but if the market will break the low of this that doji candle that means the sellers are in strong side and then you can go and make your trade in this particular stock for the bearish one okay you can also confirm it with the volume as i have told you before so i hope the concept is clear i hope you got to know something good today you can like the video you can share your views in the comment section agar aap hai, you can subscribe the channel as well thank you so much guys this is your trainer ankit singh rawat have a good day